Hey, this is Alex from Android Central. Today we're taking a look at Sense4 on the HTC One X Plus. This is the latest version of HTC's UI for Android and running Android 4.1.1 Jelly Bean on here, as you can see. So superficially, we're very close to Sense4 here. We've got all kinds of familiar icons and widgets, as well as menus to customize the home screen. Biggest changes in the launcher, I think, are performance. Scrolling is a lot faster thanks to project buzzer software enhancements that are included in Android 4.1. Speaking of which, we've got some more key Jelly Bean features here. Google Now can be activated by long pressing the home key, and we've got a redesigned notification shade too. That now contains a power saving widget, which is permanently stuck at the top of the notification drawer, letting you turn on power saving mode and change power options. No way to disable that though, unfortunately, so that's something you'll just have to deal with in Sense4 Plus. We've got one or two new features in the camera app too. First off, you can lock the screen while the camera app is running, and when you unlock it, it'll launch right back into it by uh, bypassing the lock screen. HTC calls this sightseeing mode, and that would be pretty useful if you're out and about shooting photos, saves you having to deal with the lock screen. Also when you switch to front facing mode, you've now got a countdown timer when you're taking a self portrait, so you've got time to prepare for the shot. The gallery app's undergone a bit of an overhaul too, when you first load it up, you'll see options to view photos from Facebook, Dropbox and other sources, in addition to locally stored pictures. And when you're viewing photos on the phone, you can now choose based on folder or event, and Sense will automatically catalog your stuff depending on how and where it's taken. We've also got the HTC Best Deals app, um, which for the moment is exclusive to Europe. This is a Groupon-like service uh, that allows you to view various kinds of deals based on your location. Uh, of course, how useful this is to you is going to depend on the deals that are currently on offer, as well as where you live and what your own preferences are. HTC has also revamped the set of procedure in Sense4 Plus with a new Get Started service. This lets you add apps, accounts, personal data to your device via the web, and you can even do this before you buy the phone if you want. Uh, once you've got your device in hand, you can pull down the settings, apps and other data from HTC servers using your Sense account. Other HTC services on board include Watch, HTC's movie and TV streaming service. Watch 2.0 is included in Sense4. As you can see, it's been re redesigned to make it a little more image heavy and easy to navigate. We've got links here for some third party apps, including YouTube, ESPN and others. Finally, a bit of a niche feature that's been absent from Sense in the past, but is included in Sense4 Plus. USB host is included on the One X Plus, allowing you to plug in USB peripherals like keyboards and mice, as well as USB memory devices like SD card readers. And of course, you'll need a USB on the go cable to be able to plug stuff into the phone. So there you go, very quick overview of some of the features in Sense4 Plus. For more on this and the phone it's running on, be sure to check out our full review.